Jolene. Jolene. Good morning, Hero. Good morning, Maitri. How are you all? Fine. fine. How are you? Oh, I just woke up. I'm fine. Oh. Hi and hello. I'm Maria Antonia Jolene Dyes, mostly called Jolene Dyes. I hail from Goa, India, and I presently live in London. I have limb girdle muscular dystrophy. Muscular dystrophy is a progressive weakness in the muscles which eventually makes a person wheelchair bound. It affects both the lower and the upper limbs. Life can be very challenging for a person with muscular dystrophy, but I try my level best to keep myself busy in different activities in order to remain healthy and fit as much as possible. I have done all the possible things I could do in life just like anybody yeah i completed my studies in the field of science and then switched on to music music keeps me very happy and going in life oh i just love to sing or play in various genres well i'll play for you an instrumental which gives me strength and courage at all times Here on this video, I will show you all the styles I can sing like classical, rock, pop and not forgetting Indian classical because my roots are from India.
ocean waves where I teach people with disability and the general society as well. I prepare students for major exams like the Trinity College London, the APRSM, RSL and yet yeah, my students mostly get distinctions and merits. I teach the people with disability too and I feel that they are equally God's creation and equally deserve all the love and respect that they need. I love to do graphic designing and video editing as well. I do have a flair of writing lyrics and well, I am a very good actress too. I can act at the spur of the moment. Yeah. Ah, oh, London is an amazing place as I have experienced on grounds with disability. I don't feel like a caged bird over here due to my disability and I manage to do most of my work independently. Yeah. I came to London as a resident on November 2019 and the first six months were truly 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 a nightmare as I was still adjusting in London yeah and coping up with so 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 many adversities like say the climate my profession the cost of living the hardships of my disability and things got very unpleasant but Gradually, I got adjusted and things started falling in place right from the seventh month onwards. Yeah, to me, COVID has really been a blessing. <laughs> well, I have my powered wheelchair, which I use to travel different places. When I go to the shopping centers, when I go to the post office, or when I go to the church or anywhere, the government has been extremely supportive towards me to provide me not just with a bed that I sleep on. I have not just one but two carers taking care of me so affectionately. I feel extremely pampered by the way they take care of me and support all my needs. I never feel devastated yeah, when my mom is not around. They take good care of me with a smile on their face and the joy and laughter in their approach. This challenge especially came when my mom 
had a surgery and had to be in hospital. I was totally petrified as I've never stayed overnight without her ever since I'm on the wheelchair. And the council had provided me with overnight carers for three days and three nights. And that took away all my fears. And this gave me courage to stay with carers. Now I feel definitely uh, encouraged to stay alone even any time if she wishes to, you know, yeah, travel abroad. I had friends come over from different churches to provide me with food. And yeah, things have got very, very comfortable. I performed different, different activities in order to be occupied and prevent myself from any further deterioration. Uh, like for example, I've joined dance classes. I love to dance in my own way. <laughs> yeah, then uh, I also love playing my instruments since I'm a musician. And I love just roaming around here and there in shopping malls or yeah, any markets. I do my shopping with friends sometimes, yeah, with my mom. The stores are extremely accessible. I don't have to worry about anything. Step-free access everywhere. I'm able to explore every section of the stores with immense joy, which I could not do before. And life would get truly really frustrating. I do different activities at home too. For example, I make sure I keep my floor clean to avoid any sort of dust. And cleaning this way sometimes keeps me fit and helps me burn my calories. Yeah, I don't need to burn that in order to maintain my weight as well. Yeah. Well, I love to cook. Surprising, isn't it? Yeah. I have brought specially adapted choppers to cut vegetables at ease and with comfort. This helps me to cook something for myself when I'm alone and in this way I never go hungry. Yeah. The public transport is extremely accessible over here. The ramps in every bus is so very amazing and the special place allotted for wheelchair users. I press one button and when I need to exit and the ramp comes out again. I'm delighted to say that Blue Ocean Waves is a registered company in the UK and so I have opted to render services like music, dance and indoor sport activities for all the special needs. And by doing this company, I do have intentions of rendering services to people with disability and not just that I also have intentions of employing people with disability within London or overseas in the future once everything settles down. Hello everyone, I am her mom. I am so grateful and thankful to God for the wonderful daughter I have. Her disability was not by birth but it started in her early 20s. Definitely like any other parent, we had great plans for her future. She was studying in one of the best ICIC schools in Goa and later continued her studies in science stream. Suddenly this disability started and it was a great shock for me and my husband. Initially, we could not accept this disability and we did not know that she would be disabled all her life. We took her to all the possible doctors and tried various medications. In September 2010, there was another great shock for me. My husband expired all of a sudden with a cardiac arrest. Life was not so easy for me then, being a widow and having a disabled daughter. I had no support and faced a lot of challenges, but God was my only strength in my darkness. But today I'm so happy to say that my daughter is so blessed, hardworking, persistent and talented. She will keep working 
till she achieves whatever she wants she always has a smile on her face even when she is sad in fact she keeps motivating and encouraging me and through her i have learned so many things she is the light in my darkness i would like to say to all parents if you have a child with disability that is not the end of the world do not be discouraged just keep working follow your child's passions and respect their decisions of life do not let your plans overrule theirs we parents are the strong pillars for our children and by no ways we can be shaken do not care for the world what they say trust in the lord all times and he will bring wonders in your life my dream <laughs> well i would like to have my own house and get this music academy well established somehow i do have a lot of affection towards people with disability i would love to have a dog a cat <laughs> and a family too yeah and i would love to drive a car ah, any time adopted as for my needs I feel that every person with a disability deserves equal love and respect and the wheelchair doesn't define who we are we need to be defined by our talent and our intelligence and yeah just the way we are <laughs>